there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it down there. Just uh, throw a comment. We'll talk about it. And speaking of the comments, Red Star. Red Star had a comment, more of a question, really, about last episode. The last episode we did, that would be OCG Fam 508. This is 509. He said, well, what the episode was is we were talking about when you're dealing with hungry plants. You're a... Uh, you're doing your slurry test, you know, you put your trunch in there and you're only getting like, you know, one die. You're like 140, what's going on here? I don't got enough PPMs in my plant. It's not getting enough food. So obviously you want to give it more, but which ones of these do you give it more of? You know, this is just the basics here that we're talking about. And we went through that in that episode, but he said, hey, hey, what about one shot? Thanks, Red Star, I forgot all about that. One shot, dry stuff. It's uh, it's all this stuff in a dry form, and it's certainly not as available as this stuff is. This stuff's quick in there, but this hangs out in there, and that can be very valuable to uh, keeping your plants fed is to having a little pantry for them in there, some little extra that they can uh, go find what they're looking for if you're not giving them what they're looking for with your daily or you know regular feeding. So the point of this being that um, I saw, I went back through the last episode we did with Scott, the viewer questions episode, and he addressed this very issue. So I'm gonna show you that, and also a little bonus, I'm gonna let the clip run a little longer because he also talked about things you might wanna do when you got hungry plants, how you might wanna modify your flush and your tea day. So it's a really good video. This is just a little chunk of it. So watch it, you're gonna learn something, I hope, and I'll talk to you after. But you're at such a low PPM in the soil. The other thing too is maybe even sprinkling a little bit of one shot in that soil build up a little bit of reserve behind the nutrition and that way if you are missing a couple beats on what the plant wants they're going to be able to access it through the, the one shot but for these i mean keep zeus where it is if you're in veg you can bump medusa if you're in bloom you can bump gaia athena's in both for mm -hmm. early flower and late veg um but herc is going to be the one you want to push the hardest there how does your flush day factor into this well, Does the flush takes... day for this is literally, you're not, you have no problems, you're not yeah. having any issues, so you're really just doing a root cleanse in the sense of don't oversaturate, just give them the bone meal to strip off any excess sodium and then the plant's just going to keep eating. The downfall, this person listened really well, uh -huh. and so they probably watched a few videos, probably read a few things about feeding less more often, and he's feeding a lot. Uh -huh. If he's at 1200 and two days later he's at 120, that plant is now, he's built a metabolism rate in this plant that now he's gonna have to feed, 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 feed. I mean, it's gotta go. But you're gonna yield from that because you're gonna be putting in that much more. Your plant is gonna respond. If you're, you know you're low on your PPMs that your your plant's hungry, does that change your tea day in any way? You it depends on what you're using for teas, really. I mean, okay. if you're using a consuming nutrient, consuming tea, you know, a lot of bacteria, then you might want to back off of those and stick with more fungal teas. Something okay. that's going to go in there and kind of protect the plant more than anything else. But I don't use a lot of teas when I'm below 200 because there's not a lot for them to eat. Sure. So now they're stripping all the nutrition out, and now I really have to feed them almost hydroponically. So you might back off a little on your flush and your and your tea days yeah. as far as maybe not doing your tea day one time, maybe doing less on your flush and pushing harder on the other to, to yeah. go, go, go. Well, and our flushes too are a feed, so yeah. you're not really flushing. You're giving them more bone meal. Sure. So no matter what, even though we call it a flush and a reset, it's still giving them food. And I'd even throw with your parts of million, I'd be throwing guy in with your flush. That's what I was curious yeah, about. Just okay. bump that. Bump that parts per million up so you're not losing nutrition on your flush day. Okay, I think that was pretty cool. I hope you liked that. So uh, that's the episode for today. If you have questions about this stuff, comments about this stuff, get them in the comments and we'll talk about it. We'll dig into it deeper or we'll move on to the next subject. I love you. I'll see you next time. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show.